Jesus says to us, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. Dear friends in Christ's love, Today I would like to reflect with you the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 6, verses 45 to 52. This passage focuses on the presence of Jesus during the struggles of disciples. At the outset of today's Gospel, we see that Jesus retires to the mountain top to be with his Father, asking his disciples to go ahead to Bethsaida. But when the disciples face the turbulence in the sea, Jesus is present there to save them. Yesterday we saw Jesus feeding the 5,000 people. Jesus is concerned in the day-to-day -day struggles of his people. Yes, dear friends, he is ever-present in the moments of the perils and tribulations of our lives. Jesus says to us, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. Do you and I listen to his words? We are still in the Christmas season. Christmas is the greatest manifestation of the concern, love and care of God. God manifests himself in the frail nature of human being as Messiah and the Savior to the humanity. God is with us to intervene in all the details of our daily lives. Through the celebration of the Epiphany, we learn that God is available to all, both Greek, Jew and Gentile, both the poor and the rich, the kings and the shepherds. Dear friends, what are the struggles that we face in our lives? Do our weakness trouble us? Do the sinful nature disturb us? Are we disturbed or oppressed by financial crisis? Do the uncertainties during this pandemic COVID-19 bother us? Take heart, Jesus says. It is I. Do not be afraid. Let us experience his presence within us and near us. May the Savior of this world redeem us. Amen. Um.